From, one, from Monday, October 21st, I'm Mercedes Gonzalez. And I'm Cynthia Miranda. Thank you for joining us tonight. This parking lot by LBJ is normally full by 9 a.m. during the week, with majority being students. With C permits, such as this. But with students no longer needing to be on campus, UT Parking and Transportation Services has a solution for unneeded parking permits. The UT Fund gets its money through donations on Hornraiser. Almost $900,000 helps students with rent and groceries. $100,000 helps students get technology, such as Wi-Fi, along with 322 laptops given to students. Like the new Planned Parenthood, opening off the Keaton, right across the street from the Butler School of Music, you won't see them doing direct outreach on campus with pamphlets such as these, because of Senate Bill 22. Welcome back. Today we're joined by human sex rights professor, Dr. Larry Brownstein, who will be talking to us about love and relationships. Thanks for being here, Dr. Brownstein. Well, you're welcome. We have na national races. So far, we have um, U.S. Senate, Colorado, John Hickenlooper with 54% of votes for him right now. And then we have um, Cory Gardner, Republican. So far, he has 44%. But the reporting number right now is 68% according to NBC. The target, Democrats want to target this state, so they're getting like, they seem to be getting there, but we'll see at the end of the night. One thing that makes the UT Green Ceremony memorable is the photos in front of the tower. And in front of the iconic blue door. But this year's spring ceremony was canceled due to COVID-19 concerns. I'm Cynthia Miranda. And I'm Mercedes Gonzalez. From all of us at TNC, good night. Early Thursday morning, a UT student and his roommates woke up to find two maxed men attempting to rob their West Campus home. The student says one of the suspects pistol whipped him. When they hit me in the head, that's kind of when I woke up and realized, oh, this is real. One of the roommates called 911, and the suspects ran away. The students were not seriously hurt, but safe horns. An organization that advocates for UT student safety says more could be done to protect students. We need halo cameras. We need the city of Austin to help stakeholders in West Campus. UTPD Chief David Carter says they did receive funding for Halo cameras this past spring. We had the, the issue of COVID uh, that clearly affected just progress, slowed progress on our development of how we needed to expand. For now, the new camera system is expected to be installed by the spring 2021 semester. Safe Horns also want to see more police presence. Today, Governor Greg Abbott released a statement saying more DPS troopers will patrol West Campus as a response to the recent crime. Based on the density of this community and the crimes that have happened this week, we need DPS out here now. Chief Carter welcomed the help of DPS as UTPD works to expand their presence in West Campus. But students still wonder if the changes will come soon enough. We don't feel safe. I don't know how many times more this could happen or if it could happen to other people. Mercedes Gonzalez, KXAN News. When UT closed, shifting classes online, some students lost their on-campus job. William Hall worried about paying his rent. Everyone else is kind of like being lenient, but the people in West Campus, uh, landlords aren't. He needed help paying rent after losing his job as a referee for UT in tomorrow's sports. Then Hall got a link to the UT Student Emergency Fund in the group chat. Then when I kept reading that it was like no $300 limit, and that it's not a loan, I was like, okay, let me fill this out. The UT Fund gets its money through donations on Hornraiser. Almost $900,000 helps students with rent and groceries. $100,000 helps students get technology, such as Wi-Fi, along with 322 laptops given to students. It's allowing us to help our students wherever they are, uh, find a solution uh, or a set of solutions to help them get online successfully so they can participate in their classes. The Dean of Students Office had almost 2,000 applications for the fund since March 17th compared to 315 applications for the 2018-2019 school year. One student applied for the money when her laptop broke after spring break. She got approved for a new one at no cost. It felt a little bit weird that I just got like a free computer out of nowhere. Paul was also in disbelief when he got $1,059 from the fund to cover rent for the month and an extra 200 for anything else he may need. Don't have to stress about that that expense right now, so because of UT's help, so that was pretty cool. Mercedes Gonzalez, reporting Texas TV.
A once lively UT campus is now quiet as UT ships all classes online. One UT student expected UT will make classes online and moved out of his dorm on March 13th. It's my first year in college and I'm not even finishing like a full two semesters. Willemar is back home in Houston to finish out the semester, but now he wonders how would he get his UT parking permit refunded. Another student thought the same and commutes from our home in Austin. I wasted $700 for nothing, and if I can't even like fully use them. This parking lot by LBJ is normally full by 9 a.m. during the week, with majority being students. With C permits, such as this. But with students no longer needing to be on campus, UT Parking and Transportation Services has a solution for unneeded parking permits. What we don't want to happen is people to pay for parking while the campus is in remote status. UT Parking and Transportation Services says they are working to reimburse all student parking permits. Students will be refunded for time they didn't use their permit, which will be from March 13th to when the permit expires in August. People could begin to see money within 7 to 10 days. UTPTS gets revenue from campus events, daily reach from garages, and selling parking permits. Because they lost those revenue sources, future projects might be delayed and they will have to manage spending. For both Philomar and Figura, the reimbursement will provide extra financial security. At least having the refunds and to be able to help out, um, you know, figuring out anything that might come up. Mercedes Gonzalez, reporting Texas TV.